Wow, okay. Well, you know what? In some ways, that's good. They should keep the game difficult. Like, Yoshi's previous game, Woolly World, wasn't the easiest game ever. And I like that there's just Babby mode. You can just get that out the way real real quick and then make the game difficult. Anyway, hi, Poochie. Um, so you can rotate, which is uh, very reminiscent of Yoshi's Island. So it's just a one-stage demo. I, I love this cardboard shit. Does anyone have a UPC scanner? Look at the sleepy shy guys. I love this art style. Yoshi <laughs> throwing the bone. <laughs> All right, let's let's do this. Yoshi's cardboard. Rail yard run. Okay. I'm happy that Nintendo learned from Yoshi's New Island and stopped half-assing Yoshi games. Same fucking noises. <laughs> For 25 years. Nice. Eggs. Good. Yoshi games should have eggs. Oh, we got a lock-on feature. So you can just see... You know, you can see exactly what you're hitting. Some red kern. There's 20 red kern, just like Yoshi's Island. That's good. This is gonna make me want to play Yoshi's Island, isn't it? Water jump. Flowers. So yeah, all the all the elements are in place from Yoshi's Island. Now let's see what new stuff has been at That poor shy guy did not deserve that death. Fucking hell. Okay, so, so here's how they're handling this stuff. It's a very simple, just walk up. You know, so you can go into the background. It's not like Crash Bandicoot or anything, but... It's, you know, adds an extra little dimension to a side-scroller. Just check the pause menu real quick. Oh, I see. Okay, well that's 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 familiar as well. Gobble. Okay. The aiming feels a little bit more... Like, in Yoshi's Island, you had to, like, kind of just let it go up and down, up and down, and then you could, like, stop it where you wanted to. But, um... So, X works for throwing eggs, but so does R. But it's a, it's a pretty good, um... This seems to work well. I love the cups in the water in the background. This is going to be a game I'm- I'm really going to enjoy, I think. You can toss eggs into the distance. Oh, no shit! So that's an element from Yoshi's Island that isn't really... You know, it's used at specific times. Cool. Someone said I vine blinded something. What did I uh, vine blind? That poor shy guy. Vinny, you got it. Oh, okay. Was it just like chat on a delay?
so... Yeah, it's a little shooting gallery. For secrets. Cardboard physics, please. Oh, red egg. Oh, you can do foreground, too? Nice. And also, fuck these shy guys in particular. This is a surprisingly intuitive and simple mechanic that works better than I thought it would. And it's like almost a no-brainer. So, let's see. Um... Again, this is only one stage, and the argument of like, oh, Yoshi game is too easy, could definitely be raised, but I think if the previous Yoshi game was any indication, there could be some difficulty here. If you think you're gonna find any gems, think again. In fact, you'll never even leave this place. See ya. Kamek and BJ. Without a working train, you're dead in your tracks. Good luck finding the missing parts. If you think about it, if Kamek just destroyed the missing parts, Yoshi's adventure would end here. Forever. Also, another thing I really appreciate is that an item lights up if you're able to hit it. And if you're not, then it doesn't light up. So that way you're not wasting eggs on every background element. So it's kind of like, um, you know, like a point and click where you have to find the thing that you can interact with, but not frustrating. Oh, oh, you can just straight up tongue. Oh, wait. I don't think I was supposed to be able to tongue. That was a fluke. It feels like they didn't, um, you know, for a little while, I was like, where is this game? I remember they revealed it briefly and then we didn't hear about it. Vinny, your passive activated. Vinny, that was... What? What What happened? Oh, I'm just killing Shy Guys? Oh, no, no, they, don't worry about that. The Shy Guys probably killed Yoshi's parents or something. Anyway, the point is... We didn't hear about Yoshi for a while. Like, this game was MIA. And, um... I was like, where is it? And then, now here it is, and it's like, oh, they spent extra time to make sure this game was good. Okay, so we still can't activate the train, but I, I may be able to bring this part. Oh, okay. So there's another element of, of collection. Oh, speaking of murdering Shy Guys. Look how slow and pathetic they are. They can't hurt Yoshi. They're not even acknowledging Yoshi's existence, and then look what happens. Yeah, this is a kid's game, all right. Sure. My favorite Smash character. What do you think Shy Guy's rap name would be? It'd be like... Shy Jizzle, right? Fly guy? There's already a fly guy. Family guy, someone just wrote. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh. But yeah, this this whole multiple paths thing where you can uh, walk around like this is working in this game's advantage for me. I'm really I'm a fan. It makes the environments feel a little bit more alive. It's also a nice way to do a 2D side-scroller and make it a little bit more three-dimensional without it being, like, fucking Bubsy 3D. So many games, like, totally botched their 3D transformation, and... I'll give it to Nintendo. Yeah, they've had their share of fuck-ups, but... They at least had some restraint with with some franchises to like not even attempt to do like um, a you know third person like platformer like Mario 64 like Kirby Kirby's had you know still just 2D Sure there's been some things with with Kirby like you know um air ride and stuff But mainline curb is still mostly side scrollers. I want another level. Is there another level? Hoochies. really another level, but... Now we have to go through the level backwards and find Poochies. We didn't even really see the main mechanic of the game, right? Where you get to flip the scenery around and, like, go through stuff from, um... Well, this is the- this is that mechanic, actually. I thought we were just gonna go through the level backwards. Without that. But it is that. This is exactly what I was talking about. Now we can see where the Shy Guys live. Oh my god, Yoshi! So, it, it's... It's literally behind the scenes. It's- it's Yoshi's crafted world behind the scenes. So, my impressions so far are very positive, and it, the collection aspect is nice. Like, I like that they just borrowed that from Yoshi's Island. It both brings back Yoshi's Island nostalgia, Yoshi's Woolly World nostalgia, and does something different. And now, I'm actually excited for this game, and not just, like, mildly interested, or interested. I'm actually excited for this game. Kind of curious to see what they do with, like, dungeons and some of the more, um, like, lava levels and shit like that. Punch. Moo Meadows? <laughs> Yoshi knows how to smash that bell. I can imagine Yoshi as a YouTuber.
Hey, the best part about this is when you lose health, Baby Mario doesn't cry because Baby Mario's not in this fucking game. Oh, that piranha plant lives a lonely, sad existence. You're not fooling anyone. Let's see, what should I destroy first? The illusion, his happiness, or his life? How about all three at the same time? I like that you can just quick toss an egg directly in front of you. Like real, you know, real quick. Shit, like just ricochets, goes through. Can you do ricochet? Did I just toss a poochie? <laughs> just fucking yeeted them. Why is this cute, like, kids game turning me into a monster? Oh, I didn't get the, uh, the time flower. So there's some replay value, it looks like. Any concerns about difficulty? I, I, and I do have some. Again, I have to think to myself, this is just the first stage. I like the, um, the, the low frame effect. It's very stop motion. I like Sunshine Station. So much to see, huh? I've been hoping for a local souvenir. I love some cows. Please, I think five should do the trick. Saw a ton of them grazing in some fields. Can you collect five of them for me? See one, just toss an egg at the sucker. So the cow, it shows you where, so there's the flip side, there's the front side, and then it shows you where the side quests are. So that's only on the front can you collect cows. So I'm at the seat. I'm at. I can write a Smash Mouth song right now. Everybody going town, 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 train town. Going now. Everybody go downtown to round down train town. Everybody goes. Please collect a cow for me, Yoshi. I didn't realize they meant please kill cows for me, Yoshi. But I will be your weapon. I will be your sword. Tell me what you wish for me to do, my lord. And I will make it so. I will smite whichever enemy you so request me to. I will yeet whatever shy guy needs to be yote. I will yeet all those that need to be yachted. that you collect 
go to a total. Even if you're only doing half a level, it seems. You found cows. Thanks for your help. I present you with this. Okay, so these flowers unlock. Um, if you collect smiley flowers, you'll be able to access new areas, so you get new areas, and the coins unlock the outfits. Thanks for playing. Here's a trailer. Yeah, those are the outfits. I'm gonna get diabetes when I play on the Candy Land. Because I'm just gonna want to eat candy. The whole time I play on it. Co op. Oh, those them. Those them birds. That's what I was going to say. Pirate ship. Oh, fuck. It's Monster Hunter. Oh, fuck. It really is Monster Hunter. Yoshalos. It's good. It's really fun. I like it. It it plays like Yoshi's Island with, you know, better, you know, tweaks and um I like the game mechanics and I like the way it looks. I think it's a cool game and I'm I'm going to purchase the game and play it because it's good. I hope it remains good throughout the whole game. I do have faith in Nintendo after the previous Yoshi game, as I've been saying, but we'll see. So far, good demo. Not bad.